In this video, I'm gonna explain why you shouldn't have rest days in a kind of sense. Because a lot of people take rest days way too seriously. I know a lot of people that take rest days like the whole weekend off or they just take one day literally off of everything. They go on the phone scrolling on social media the whole day or going on the TV the whole day, you know, and just wasting time and wasting their day. So why do people actually do this? And why do they think it's actually a rest day when it, is, it basically isn't? For your mind, it isn't a rest day. For your mind, it's the most busy day it will ever have. Because social media takes up your mind to, uh, and TV also takes up your mind and it takes space for you to think about business for you to think about good things for you to think about ah let me go to the gym that type of stuff so what i found really important basically is don't take rest days take rest periods on the day itself don't take a rest day so let's say for example today is kind of my quote-unquote rest day i do a little bit less i still work so i still work for about two hours then i do my youtube so that's about four to six hours of work it's a little bit less normally i do eight to even 14 hours of work on a day and that's uh, not even including my job right now because i still am employed and basically that's a lot of work right but when I put it down to eight hours, maybe a little bit less, even six hours, I still am very satisfied with my day for the rest that I got. Because I still go to the gym, because uh, right now I'm on monk mode, I go to the gym every day, that's literally my monk mode protocol. I will get into that after the monk mode, and what I do in monk mode, and what I don't do. And basically, I go still go to the gym on my rest days, but I just do a little bit less, or at least lower volume. So, like when my legs are really sore, because I do legs twi twice to three times a week, I do them a little bit less, but still try to implement the workout so it has effectiveness. Why do I do this? Is because I'm on monk mode, but I also don't take rest days. When I have a rest day in mind, a rest day for me is still working, but let's say I don't want to go to the gym on a specific day because I want to rest on that day from the gym, but I still need to exercise. So what I do is I don't go to the gym on a specific planned day. So let's say Tuesday and Wednesday. I don't go to the gym. Let's say it like that. I will specifically plan that and I will exercise on something else, but at least I'm not going to the gym, right? So what that does is it's not a rest day, uh, sincerely, but it's a rest period for me just to have a little bit more rest, you know, to say it like that. What is very important about that is a lot of people take rest days and the rest days is the, doing the whole day. They're doing nothing. And that's a problem. You still need to do something on your rest periods. I would prefer calling it a rest period. So like I would chill for two hours. I would read extra in my book. Or I would uh, make more content. Or I would go just outside take a walk. Or I would go to the library instead of reading at home. Or I would go to a cafe and drink some coffee. All that type of stuff. That's for me rest. For me that's not rest and what it shouldn't be for you either is on social media or the TV. Like you can watch a movie with your family, it's a but don't take it in you, uh, don't take it in you. And don't watch the generic movies, you know, about literally porn, like softcore porn and movies, you don't, you shouldn't watch that. Should you? Should you really watch that? I sure. So yeah, basically that's how I would plan a rest day, quote unquote. What is very important about your rest period is that you don't go to social media because your rest period will be too long. You can take rest, yes. You can like, when you dance every day, you can say a day from before, I will not dance tomorrow, but I will do something else instead. So I will work on myself or read extra or work on my business, but you're not dancing. And that's rest. That should be uh, implanted in your brain right now. That's rest. Why is that rest and why would that help you? Because it will make your life easier. Doing hard things makes life easier. That's like all lesson on this channel. Doing hard things makes life easier. And it's hard for first uh, first timers to not take full rest day. So not being on social media and just chilling on the couch and eating like a fat pig or not eating at all because you're gaming all day. That's bad. A rest period, like watching TV for a little bit or just playing a game, uh, not playing a game by the way, but I mean a uh, board game. So like chess or something or checkers. That will be perfect because you're still working, but you're resting as well. For you, you're resting. That should be the whole purpose. You should be resting. But you should do other things instead of just doing nothing because doing nothing is a waste of time. In this time, you know, in the world, there are things coming 
very dark times are coming and you need to work every day to overcome them. So yeah, how would I implement my rest periods? I implement my rest periods in a way of when I'm done with my monk mode, I will go four to five times a week to the gym. What will I do? I will plan specific days that I will not go. So I will probably run on those days or just take a walk for half an hour. Because every human needs to exercise. Every human needs to exercise every day. That's what we're made of. Just go back in time. Did you think the Neanderthals and that like even further back that we will do nothing on a day. No, we were walking every day, exercising every day, hunting every day. So that's exercise. We should do, but we shouldn't force ourselves to do something in a way that we do it every day we fuck up our muscles or fuck up our mind because it's too much stress is good but stress can be too much like i use all my stress i have a lot of stress i use all my stress to work that's good but some people can't do that so you, you don't want to stress yourself out too much yet so what is important right now is just to stress yourself a little just go on the rest day work a little bit on your business let's say or like fashion or i don't know youtube tiktok everything that's work related you should do you should produce 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 but like take a short period just to read a book or just chill with friends talk with friends i'm not saying don't go out either because a lot of people think i've say, I said i don't go out but don't go out with the purpose of for example finding a girl or a guy go out with your friends with your male friends or with your girlfriends and just go out because you need to socialize as well and you need to have rest and that's the type of rest that I recommend. Not a whole day off, but just a little bit of rest periods. I, I have rest periods every day. Like every day I would just stop with work or go on a walk or I would produce a little bit more on TikTok because I really like that. Or I would go extra to the gym. Uh, that's for me, for me it's that stress by the way. Or I would, you know, just go to the library. What I said yesterday, I went to the library just because it's extra rest. On Sunday the library is uh, closed. Which really sucks by the way because I really wanted to go today but yeah The other type of stuff just go out outside and enjoy that Maybe meditate a little bit more that's also a type of rest that is implanted in me And that type of stuff can really help So I would recommend it I would recommend taking rest periods instead of rest days So let's call it rest period Take a rest period whenever you need it But don't make it too long and don't do it to do stupid stuff Use your rest period for smart stuff like going out or something Just breathing air Going out in the morning for a walk is really good Or in the midday or in the afternoon Going to the library is really good You should do those things Just really get it implanted in your brain that you shouldn't take a whole day off going on social media watching porn going on the tv or the whole day don't do that okay please so again once again this is another short video but it's a video that's very important and i, I want you to actually listen to this okay and also with sleeping a lot of people sleep in when their weekend arrives because of work don't do that every day wake up in about the same time like i wake up between five o'clock and eight o'clock that's my same time and i go to bed at 10 o'clock 11 o'clock it's still not optimal but it, that's how my life goes right now because i'm really busy so 10 o'clock 11 o'clock i go to bed i will sleep and five o'clock eight o'clock i will wake up that's every day every day i do that it's important for you to also know you should do it every day don't Take days like the weekend. Oh, I can't sleep in now. Don't do that. It will fuck up your sleep schedule even more. And it will make you even more tired. That's also like called a rest day. Don't do that, okay? Just wake up at the time you want to wake up. You don't have to make it very early. But make it the same time for the every day for the rest of your life. Okay? I, I will talk to you later. Work hard every day. Be proud of yourself every day. And don't take rest days off. Later. By the way, just a quick little snippet. When I say don't go on social media, I do not mean the educative side of it, nor do I mean the friend side of it. You can watch a little bit what your friends are doing, and also you can watch educational stuff, but I mean like the reels and TikTok and shit that you don't go scrolling down the for hours that's what i mean just uh for the people that are interested because they would think why i'm not allowed to social media uh that's what i mean okay